What's up geniuses? My name is Adrian Rivera and welcome back to the channel where you learn to show your genius. Today we're going to be talking about how to use the playlist in FL Studio 20. But before we get into that, I gotta tell you guys something. Welcome back to our wall! Let's see if I have a super play button yet. Oh look! An 8-bit though gamepad wireless controller. Not a sponsor. Even though I love this controller and it has a whole bunch of functionality like connecting to the Switch or Windows or the RetroPie and has that super awesome retro themed look just like the SNES controller. Again, not a sponsor. This is not what we want on the wall. What we need is a super play button taking up this spot, not the 8-bit though gamepad wireless controller, which is super great by the way. I love it. We need a silver play button, and we can't do that unless we have 100,000 subscribers. So stop playing games and subscribe! I don't want this 8-bit though gamepad wireless controller to be here for too long. Links are in the description, not a sponsor. Now this is the last video of my beginner series course. If you want to check out the whole playlist, click the eye icon up here. After this video, I unfortunately don't have any more videos for that course, but if you guys want me to continue this course put in the comments yes i started this course back in 2018 and never finished it so i might sound a little bit different fl studio might look a little bit different but everything will still translate really well into the current version of fl studio 20. now i gotta mention you see these views you see these likes not enough people are leaving likes on these videos i eat those likes that's how i get my source of energy so if you don't like i'm starving each like is equivalent to one calorie so help me with my calories enough of my rambling let's get into fl studio welcome to chapter one lesson five playlist now what exactly is the playlist first what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click the view playlist button this is our playlist right here the playlist is essentially how we're going to construct our song and arrange all the elements in chronological order of our song. So you can see the snare pattern that I made from the last lesson. What I'm going to do with that pattern is use it as an example to show you how the playlist works. Now this section right here is the majority of our playlist and is where we're going to be placing in our patterns to assemble our song. At the top right here, each measure is labeled and continues to go on forever. Up here we have the bar that zooms in and zooms out just like the piano roll and we can scroll up and down too or click the sidebar. Next we have have multiple tracks that will allow us to put multiple playlists and audio files almost like layers that you would see in Photoshop or GIMP. And if you don't understand that, you'll understand real soon. And these tracks go on until track 500. Each one of these tracks has an individual mute and solo button, just like everything else in FL Studio. Now on the side, we have our pattern selector, our audio clip selector, and our automation clip selector. This is where we're gonna be selecting what patterns and audio clips we wanna put into our song. After that, we have the toolbar that is essentially the exact same as the piano roll toolbar. So now that we know what everything does on the playlist, and since we have our pattern ready, I'm going to show you how to actually start constructing your song. I'm going to come over here to the pattern selector, select my pattern one, select the draw tool, and literally all I have to do is left click, switch to song mode next to the play button, and click play to hear my song thus far. And you'll notice that whenever it gets to the end of what we have, it'll just loop back to the beginning. And what we can do is we can add multiple of the same patterns to extend this and make our song even longer. And you'll notice that this correlates with our song position. Now we can move these left and right, and we can switch these onto different tracks. So quickly, let's make a new pattern. I'm going to click this plus button, click enter, and then go to my channel rack and make a new pattern. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my pattern on the playlist and draw it in underneath pattern one on track two. And what I could do is right click track two and rename it to whatever I want. So I'm going to call this pattern two track and maybe make it a green color. So now if we play our song, it plays both of these patterns at the same time. That is it for this lesson. I'll be seeing you guys in lesson six. So hopefully that helped you guys out. If you need any high quality beats, make sure to check out my beat store, adrioravero.com. I post super high quality beats up there. All those beats I would use myself, but decided to give to you guys because I know you can make some pretty dope stuff. Currently, there's only three beats up there, but I will be posting more soon. And I always do my best to give you guys a fair price. So check it out, check out the perks that you get, and also make sure to subscribe. The world's crazy right now. There's so much stuff going on. So stay safe, wash your hands, drink a lot of water, and don't be afraid, and don't be afraid to show your genius. Baby, you come